Hello Leo, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your Money and Career Tarot reading. This will be for July to August 2022 for the sign of Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So I hope you're well. Remember these readings won't be for everyone. Take what resonates with you as always. So let's see what we have for you, Leo. First card out, we have the Rescuer. It might well be something being presented when you need it the most, or you might be offering that to somebody else. We have arguments. Okay. <clears throat> so arguments, we have be on your guard with whom you deal with in terms of any money-related matters. Make sure everything is in order to avoid any monetary problems. There could be some financial disputes. So we have arguments of some kind. <clears throat> with that Leo we have Rescuer someone may enter your life and help you resolve any difficulties you're experiencing consider careers as a firefighter paramedic or any rescue or hero heroic profession asking for help is not a sign of weakness quite the opposite it shows your strength Okay, Leo, let's pull your next card. See what we have for you in your money career. <clears throat> Sorry, you're going to have to excuse me. I'm suffering from allergies at the moment. So <laughs> what do we have for Leo, please? Angel Spirits Guides, message for Leo, money career finances. <clears throat> we have exertion. And let's pull you a number message for our lovely leos thank you message for leo message for leo oh nice i've got happy ending number 93 there's this exertion here but it looks like it's all going to be worth it let's pull some cards see what we have interesting messages there leo Okay, what do we have for Leo, please? Money, career, finances, angel spirits, guides. This will be for July to August 2022, the majority of which is Leo season. So let's see what we have for you. Oh my goodness, Leo. That is the happy ending energy. We have the nine of cups, getting what you want. A wish coming true. We have the moon. The Eight of Wands, the Three of Cups, Celebration Energy, the Five of Wands, there's the battle, there's the conflict and the arguments here. We have the Two of Wands, and we have the Three of Wands. Steady progress here, Leo. Steady progress leading to victory. <laughs> oh my goodness, the cards are just pretty much falling in line here. I mean, telling a very clear story. This is lovely. So it might not seem that way right now, Leo, because it does feel for some of you there's conflict here. You might be battling on something. You might be... Uh, arguing you know taking a stance in a situation on somebody who may not who, who you might not see eye to eye with but the message is that there's a definite energy if you're going to win you are absolutely going to win here leo this would be good in terms of a victory that's coming your way from a battle so it could be a legal thing or a battle of other kinds for some of you, it could also be you've been competing in a situation. For some of you, this could be a promotion and there's an energy of it's all going to be worth it in the end. So if it hasn't been friendly competition or if it's just been a, a difficult, naturally conflicting, unsettling energy that you've been dealing with because you've been competing for something, this is the energy of all's well that ends well, you get your wish. So the Nine of Cups is just happiness. It's a kind of happiness and joy. Each of those cups is 
is full of, of joy, happiness, um, uplifting energy. And this is displaying what, this is an energy of displaying what you've achieved. You know, the Nine of Cups is somebody who displays on a trophy shelf what they've achieved. There's just an energy here of, you're going to feel really satisfied and content with the way, the outcome of the situation here, because it ends in victory. Whatever you're competing for or battling on, and again, whichever situation this would apply to you, you end victoriously. And that's what spirit wants you to know. This is an energy of celebration is ahead. It ends with victory and success. So lovely energy. Because there is uncertainty here. The moon is just lack of clarity, uncertainty. You might intuitively have feelings about how something's going, but you just actually don't practically know. And sometimes we just have to surrender and trust that what we battle for, what we take stances on, um, we just have to surrender and trust that truth will prevail, right prevails. Um, our efforts, our experience, our knowledge, what we bring to the party, how we compete in circumstances, that prevails for us. So this is an energy here of, of competing against other people or another person at least, at least two people, maybe more, where you're in a battle, whether it's competing for a job or, or competing for a promotion or battling in some other instance, legal, for example. But this is then, it could also be like sports as well, you know, things like sports or awards or recognition energy as well. So this could be that kind of energy too. But there's definitely an energy here, Lee, of surrender and trust. This is an energy of even though you don't know it, you've got hidden blessings. There is definitely an energy of divine orchestration going on behind the scenes that you're not aware of that is guiding you, that is supporting you. So you may have strong intuitive feelings about how something's going or how to respond to situations. And if you do, trust that, trust your instincts. Trust how you're perceiving your situation, your environment, the people within it, because and, and respond accordingly in line with your intuition because that guides your victory as well. We have the Eight of Wands. So the Eight of Wands is, is communication, conversations coming in. So fast moving comes, it seems to, for some of you, this is an energy here of, of competing competing for something and wanting to know what the next steps are and there's definitely an energy here of communication coming in that is that is allowing you to see how things are progressing for you in the direction that you want it to go and I'm saying that quite clearly sometimes the two of ones can be about choices as well and for some of you, that might well be the case. Communication comes in, which presents a choice or a decision. And it might well be, certainly if it's to do with legal situations or, or bureaucracy or something that where, where a kind of um, a just victory is wanted. But in this energy, the more thing that I'm getting here, certainly between the two to the three of ones being in the reading, is you're wanting to see how something is going to progress and things are moving forward posit positively in the right direction for you. It feels slowly but surely you're seeing how next steps are progressing and they're progressing in the direction that you want them to go. And that's what I'm seeing the most here in this reading. Um, because there's an energy here of we go from the two to the three. So this is an energy of things progressing in the direction that you feel very optimistic about. Um, so like I said, this, the, the eight of ones can be conversations that you might be having in terms of moving forward. It can also be sudden communication and conversation might come into you. Either way, it brings positive change, positive forward movement, positive action moving forward. Um, and this is the energy here, Leo, with the three of wands. This is your ships are coming in. They're not quite in the harbour yet, but this is an energy of things are looking hopeful and positive. Things are progressing slowly but surely. There's that step by step by step towards the victory that you've been seeing. Uh, and this is what you've wanted. The Three of Cups is manifestation of success, um, celebration. It is the beginnings of seeing the fruits of your labor in a profound way. So you can see all the abundance around these people. They've worked hard to 
create new fruit, new to grow new harvest. And now they're beginning to see it pay off. So this is a positive energy of celebration and joy. You're beginning to see the positive optimistics of what optimistic way of how something is unfolding for you. And it's what you've been competing for here. So it's lovely, lovely energy. We have the six of wands celebration. This is absolutely an energy of victory, success. Um, significant achievement now these energies can also be about promotions like i said as well but this would be if you're competing for a job it's a great energy of you getting that and for some of you it could well be getting the next level up um the next step up could be status changes uh changes in responsibility changes in pay you understand what I'm saying here. So that's what it would be if it's a promotion. And similarly, this can be a great, great victory in terms of other areas of other areas like legal, for example. It's all been worth it. The six of wands. There's definitely an energy also, Leo, if you've been competing for anything, you know, maybe for another job or another. I mean, it can also be if you've been competing for business, if you've been competing for uh, I, I want to say clients or you've been competing to win business of some kind or win sales of some kind. This is also a great energy of achievement. So money career readings, obviously the message remains the same. It's just how it applies to you might be a bit differently, but those are a few examples in terms of how this reading would translate for you. But this is such a lovely energy of you're getting your wish. You are absolutely getting your wish. The nine of cups is very beneficial monetarily as well. Um, it's a great sign to come out in money readings in particular because it's very bountiful. So this is a great energy. There is some kind of material success associated with this for you, material changes, monetary changes for you in a very positive and significant way. This rescuer energy as well, it feels like it happens just at the right time. For those of you, if there's been uncertainty because you've been wanting to get employment, as well the message remains the same you get your wish you compete you battle you st see the steady progress and things looking optimistic and then there is the victory here so the exertion is all worth it Don't, I, I mean leo's work very hard anyway but this is just the energy of you are going to get that happy ending lovely energy okay let's pull a final message for you and what I really like about this reading here, Leo, I've got seven, eight, eight cards on the table and one, two, three, four, five of them is one's energy. So this is your element. This is you pretty much stamping your authority all over this kind of reading or energy even. Final message. Yeah. <laughs> Manifestation. Be very honest and clear about what you wish to manifest in your life. Now write it down on paper, manifestation step one. Yeah, it's coming. It feels it's all coming to fruition here. That's what I have for you. I hope you enjoyed your reading. I wish you a wonderful next couple of months. I will see you next time.